Hey, what's up guys? So I've never really done this before outside of making computers, but I've decided to make an unboxing video. So I uh, have been talking about buying this gaming slash streaming slash VR laptop for a long, long time. So I uh, work is flying me out to Phoenix, Arizona to meet with some clients and uh, I don't have a gaming laptop. The MacBook Pro that they gave me is garbage. Sorry, not sorry, PC Master Race. Uh, so I decided to buy a fancy pantsy laptop. So I got the Acer Predator Triton 500. I was going to go with the MSI. Uh, I forgot what brand it is, but it was like black, it was uh, like a gunmetal with uh, gold trimming, I think. Then uh, my buddy Jim, he's uh, one of the, the best masterminds in finding the best quality crap for your dollar. And so he pointed this one out. I was like, yeah, you know, out of pride, I was like, maybe I'll go with something else, you know, just to smite him. But yeah, he, uh, he actually made the right decision. This is a badass machine, according to reviews, according to reviews. Uh, Linus Tech Tips did did a thing. I don't think he did an unboxing though, so it's, I'm gonna do that for you guys. So I don't know what the hell to expect. Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unbox it, obviously. Fuck off. But. I'm going to try and go over the specs. We'll try and power it up. We'll see how well it runs. Um, you know, just get a, my first impression, right? Um, the fanciest laptop I've ever had was a uh, it was a Sony Vio back in 2011, I think. I bought it for like 1,800 bucks. It was supposed to be a gaming laptop. I was a paramedic at the time, so I wanted a gaming laptop to game while I was in the the um, the fire stations or EMS stations. So um, I think I gave it away. I don't know what happened to it. Who cares? It's gone. So I got this guy. So let's start unboxing this thing. Oh yeah, well I guess we'll go over the box first, right? So nothing too fancy about the box. <clears throat> kind of a cool little shindig, okay. Is this the cool part of the unboxing? The boring part. I should have watched an unboxing video just to give you guys a consistent experience for those that uh, get sexually aroused by unboxing videos. Hang on, take a big whiff of that. Ah, it smells like new technology. Okay. Fuck. Does this slide out? Oh, yes. Came with this Area 51 black matted. I don't know what's in there. Let's just assume it's manuals and shit. All right. Um, foam protectees. Official term for them. So it comes in this like cardboard little thing. And I'm assuming that's the entire laptop. It's kind of heavy. Maybe put some lead weights in there. They promised it was going to be light. Okay. Don't some unboxing people have like a badass like knife that they use? Like it's their official unboxing knife? Instead of these shit ass grocery store bought scissors. Okay, so let's go straight up. You guys probably can't even see what I'm doing. If I do it over here. Okay. Moment of truth. Dude, they make it. No wonder why people get boners over unboxing things. This is awesome. So, okay, this is what I see. It's coming this like little uh, electronic cloth thing. Wrapping. Or maybe it's a bag. I don't know. Oh my god. So. Fucking cool. Okay, how do you get this off? Seriously. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Want the truth? Oh, it speaks volumes. It's so powerful. 
Okay, so, so far I'm pretty impressed with the build quality of this fucking machine. So it's all metal. Pretty, pr pretty, I mean, pretty light for how much shit is compacted in here. So, power jacks are kind of in the middle, not on this, on the back. I guess that's alright. It just means that they can make the bottom thinner. Usually a lot of the, uh, Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So I need to talk through this. All right, so here's the... The logo is the first thing that stood out to me. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, so obviously the lighting in this room is a little bit messing with it. Well, anyway, so they have like a, a really cool Predator logo. I don't know, I don't, maybe that's a Triton logo. I don't know. That's pretty sick. Awesome finish though. So you guys can kind of see some of the stuff in the back here. This is what I was uh, observing earlier. So you can see actually the blue heat sinks and maybe a little bit of the speaker. I'm not sure. So the, the reason why I really looked at the MSI laptop and this laptop was cooling. Anybody that's had a high performance laptop knows that when you put components in a laptop, they're highly compacted in there and uh, it gets hot as hell. Look, I mean, like, if you look at your desktop, I got 28 Ti, sound card, you know, pumps, all this. There's so much open space to move air from one end to the other. If there's not much space, then you, and you don't have much um, air channels, then it's hard to displace the hot air or move cold air across the circuitry and the components, all right? So there's a lot of airflow. I mean, these guys were definitely hyping up Big airflow channel on the side here, on the other side as well, and in the back. So <clears throat> I think the whole idea, if I remember correctly, is that they, um, I think it sucks in from both sides and out the back. It's not, not a bad setup. <clears throat> All right, so let's power this thing up and then talk about some specs. Okay, well actually, well, let's talk about opening it. All right. So opening it, there's another little cloth thing. Oh, that's that's pretty sick. <clears throat> Hopefully this thing came with uh, a um, little bit of charge on it. Okay, so this is what I see. Um, another uh, you know Predator kind of you know branding and logo on the front there, underneath the uh, the monitor. There we go. Um, the screen is pretty baller. So it's a 15.3, 15.6 inch screen, 144 hertz, NVIDIA G-Sync integrated, which is pretty badass. Um, looks like the speaker's here on the front. So that, that's definitely not a speaker in the back. Um, the keys, ooh. The keys are pretty fair. You know, one thing you notice with laptop keys, if you could like touch the corner and it kind of like teeter-totters on a center point, then you kind of know they're kind of cheaply made. This has a pretty good center focus and feels pretty pretty solid. Yeah, all, all across, even on the corners. That's cool. And so you can see there's a little bit of white in there, so that's gonna help kind of create like a, uh, a satin illumination instead of just kind of like where you clearly see there's an LED in there, so we'll see if I'm right on that. Um, there's a turbo button on the top left. I saw Linus talking about that is when you hit turbo, it turns the fans on uh, all the way and does some, you know, stable overclocking. Oh yeah, some of the ports here. Uh, hard connection with the uh, Ethernet. Looks like a USB 3.0. HDMI, which is good. I need the HDMI for VR, so. Uh, Thunderbolt, couple USBs on the side. Cool, let's see if we can power this thing on. Where's the power button? Oh, here it is. It's an actual key. That's weird. That's really weird. So I, the power button's right there. It's just a normal key. It's not like a hard, uh... Well, this thing definitely did not come with any charge. Why? Are they doing this to me? All right, anyways. <clears throat> All right, so we'll look at the uh, the little Area 51 manual hider shit or whatever. I was gonna see if it's gonna, oh shit. Actually, we'll go over that in a second. All right, Predator Triton. Uh, 
simple quick starter, quick guide, quick guide. Okay, we don't need that. We're too smart for that. All right, so in the, the, the there's a side box that it came with. That's crazy. So there's like okay, so this is this, this is what the box looked like when I opened it. That's a big unnecessary box. Let's see what it came with. That's a lot of shit for nothing. All right. So we gotta tear this open. Okay, power cable. Sweet. That's it. It literally only comes with a power cable and a quick start guide. Come on. Come on, little buddy. What the fuck? Why are, why are these always so hard to undo? You know what? Cheap ass scissors? Help me out here. Boom. Eat a shit to. Okay. Where do I have an open plug here? I guess I have an open plug down there. All right, for the sake of the thing. Okay. So you guys are probably thinking like, ah, oh, what an unprofessional. You know, I'm not gonna set up all the fancy cameras like all those nerds and try and give you guys the best unboxing experience. Cause I only unbox maybe like, well, okay, that's actually dumb. I unbox things all the time. There we go. Ah. Give me power. Does that sit flush? That's one thing that's kind of weird. I mean, I don't know how much of an issue it's going to be, but I mean, with the cable kind of getting in the way of the heat sinks, do you guys see that? They're not heat sinks, but well, it is a heat sink. I mean, I guess I could do that and open it up, but it blocks the ethernet. I mean, is that, a, is that a deal breaker for us? Oh shit, do you guys see that? Oh, see this thing's having a, Yes, that's loading. Thank you for joining the Predator team. Oh, so this is what it says. This is the Predator Premium Service. Thank you for joining our Predator team as a member of the elite group. Elite. Uh, you, you'll enjoy the uh, benefits of premium service for your Predator product, including one year limited uh, warranty, as well as 24 by seven access to dedicated support team specialized in Predator brand. We are here to ensure that you have the best experience. Hi there. in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Can I okay, enough intro. Yeah. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Now let's get you connected to a network. Stop looking at my password. How do I hide it? There you go. Fuck it. Now type your credentials. Whoa. I don't need you little hackers coming over and ruining my day. All right. I could have done a hard connection. I guess it doesn't matter. Well, anyways, so let's go over some of the specs of this thing while it's trying to self-configure itself. So I got the list here. So it has an Intel i7-8750H, six core processor up to 4.1 gigahertz. So I'm assuming up to 4.1 gigahertz when I hit the turbo mode. 
maybe. I'll actually like to test that later on. Um, so it has the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 overclock graphics, max Q design, whatever. It just means it's laptop shit. 8 gigs of uh, dedicated G GDDR6 uh, memory, so essentially the same thing as a 2080 standard. 15.6 um, inch uh, monitor. It is 1080p monitor. It's not 1440p. Actually, is that right? What do you mean there's no internet? Now type your credentials. Motherfucker. Hang on, guys. Mission accomplished. No shit. They're all linked up. Now we have some important setup to do. Important? Okay, so the, the rest of the specs here. So it has um, 32 gigs of DDR4 memory at uh, 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 2666, 2666 megahertz memory. Hang on, hang on. I'm not done reading it. Uh, one, terabyte, uh, one terabyte accept. of uh, flash Don't NVMe uh, short, uh, storage. Select accept to use Windows. You can decline. Motherfucker. Email. Do you know what I'm doing, Cortana? Bitch. Just kidding. Type um, your email address or phone number. And so, let's see what it says. Okay, so it has three fans within it for the cooling. Um, I think it has like two on the left, one on the right if you're looking at the screen. Um, it has like the layout online, which is actually pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty much it. Right? Right? Oh, there's actually one little stat here. What is it? The... 81.3% screen to screen to body ratio. So take it for what it is. Um, okay, well let's actually do one more test. Where are we at? Time? We're doing all right. So I'm gonna type in my credentials. So there's one thing that I notice when I'm moving the laptop up and down, is that uh, the power plug is a little wobbly on there. That's kind of weird. I mean, my, lap, my my other gaming laptop definitely had that. Fuck. Fuck is my password. Can I skip this? Want to set up a pin? No. No. No, I don't want to fucking do a pin. Want to set up a pin? No. 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 No! Fucking hate this shit. I mean, I should set up a pin. Extra security, right? Now let's link your phone and PC using a Microsoft app. That can work some magic between your different I don't think I'll ever do that, you fuck. Want to automatically save files and photos to OneDrive for N Nope. You try and suck me in with more shitty products, Microsoft? Just just stick to my uh, hey, stick look, to Windows. That's me, Cortana. Can I have permission? Nope. These are the settings Microsoft nope. recommends. Nope. Go ahead and nope. review them and nope. select accept when you're ready. You guys would be a fool. If you hit accept on all these, so you can't see it, it's a little blurry. So this is choose the privacy settings. Turn all that shit off. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Do I just not put my email at all? You know what? My first name is Poopy. Last name Shoes. How about that? Send me nothing. Actually, do I get free antivirus? Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. You're not. You're actually delaying this process quite a bit, Cortana. I don't know. Am I being too mean to Cortana? 
not being too mean. Might take several minutes. Well, I'm not going to let you guys wait through this boring Windows crap. So, overall impressions of, of the laptop, I guess, and the unboxing process and whatnot. So, A+, A plus on the presentation. I mean, everything was neatly wrapped. There was like a nice little like cloth that was in between the keys and the, and the screen. Badass. Um, the finish, that satin gunmetal. I don't think it's... Maybe it's more black. Yeah, I think it's more black. So they have a satin black finish uh, on the uh, on the laptop. They have the cooled logo on the on the top. They also have um, you know cool keys. We haven't seen them illuminate yet. So apparently you can change the illumination between three different zones. So left, middle, and right. I'm assuming it's kind of what they advertise. Um, but overall, pretty good. You know, um, I'm, I might do another video on just testing it. Um, I'm actually going to be um, putting Steam on here and streaming uh, VR, so it's going to be weird. I mean, I think I have enough capability to stream and play games at the same time. I mean, it's a pretty powerful little PC or laptop, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll be posting this video up on YouTube and uh, Twitch here shortly. I'm just going to chop it up, edit it, make it look a little bit nice, uh, maybe put some music in the background. but. If you guys like what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the rest of the stuff. Uh, other videos that I'm doing and kicking out is going to be troubleshooting videos uh, for those you know fellow streamers out there. I'm going to be trying to you know set up a troubleshooting page which I'm, or a uh, troubleshooting um, video. If you have an issues, it's choppy. Uh, just the overall quality is not what you want. It you haven't optimized your PC or your stream to your PC settings, or you've over optimized, so it's not working good. I'm actually about to release that video, so be sure to go check that out. Um, but yeah, again, guys, if you like it, be sure to leave a comment. If you have other things you'd like to see me buy and unbox, let me know, uh, except for a brand new BMW. Cause I don't feel like paying an ass load of money for a shitty car. So just kidding. Not really America, baby. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. See ya.